surgeon surgeon dentist dentist epidemic disease epidemic disease plague plague chronic chronic acute acute symptom symptom blood pressure blood pressure catch a cold catch a cold yellow fever yellow fever flu flu tropical disease tropical disease optic examine optic examine allergy allergy allergic allergic malaria malaria asthma asthma back pain back pain headache headache insomnia insomnia sleep disorder sleep disorder internal clock internal clock immune system immune system bacteria bacteria x-ray department x x-ray department x surgeon dentist epidemic disease plague chronic acute symptom blood pressure catch a cold yellow fever flu tropical disease optic examine allergy allergic malaria asthma back pain headache insomnia sleep disorder internal clock immune system bacteria x-ray department x once upon a time in a small town there was a surgeon named dr amelia who worked at the local hospital she was known throughout the town for her kindness and her skill in helping people heal from their injuries one day a dentist named dr baker visited dr amelia with a problem i feel terrible he said his symptoms included a high blood pressure a pounding headache and he couldn't stop sneezing Dr. Amelia took a deep breath. Sounds like you've caught a cold, she said. But let's do an optic exam just to make sure. After looking into his eyes and checking his throat, Dr. Amelia concluded Dr. Baker had a minor flu, not just a cold. You need rest, plenty of fluids, and some vitamins to boost your immune system. Classes at the middle school were buzzing with news about certain diseases. The science teacher, Mr. Clark, was teaching about epidemics and plagues, diseases that spread widely and affected many people, like the epidemic disease yellow fever, a dangerous tropical disease. The students also learned about chronic conditions, which last for a long time, and acute conditions, which are savory and sudden. One student, Lily, who suffered from asthma, found these lessons very interesting. She knew what it was like to live with a chronic condition. 
Sometimes it made it hard for her to breathe, especially when she had a cold. Her friend Jack had different problems. He was allergic to peanuts, and he had to be very careful about what he ate. Even a tiny bit can make me very sick, he said. His allergies were an acute reaction his body had to something harmless. As the kids at school started talking more about health, they noticed how many of them had different medical issues. Sarah had back pain from carrying heavy backpacks, and Tom had to visit the x-ray department last summer after he fell from a bike. Once Eva had to take antibiotics for two weeks after getting an infection. Then there was Max who had a tropical disease called malaria after he came back from his vacation. To everyone's surprise, even the teachers shared stories. Mr. Hudson had been battling insomnia for years, a sleep disorder that made it hard for him to fall asleep. My internal clock is all messed up, he explained. One day, the school planned a health awareness day. There was an exciting array of guests, including Dr. Amelia. They talked about the importance of a balanced diet and how to recognize symptoms when you're sick. They learned how bacteria can cause diseases, but also how they are important for our bodies. Dr. Amelia set up a little booth where she checked students' blood pressure and gave advice on staying healthy. What you eat, how much you sleep, and what you do every day, it all adds to your health, she said. She also explained how vital it was to have a strong immune system, especially during a flu season. During Health Awareness Day, everyone received a sick note journal to track any days they were ill, what symptoms they had, and what the diagnosis was if they saw a doctor. This helped the students understand their health patterns better. In Health Awareness Day's honor, the school cafeteria served only foods that were part of a balanced diet. There were fruits rich in vitamins, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Remember everyone, Dr. Amelia said as she gathered the students around her, to take care of your health. Whether it's something simple like a cold or more serious like yellow fever, knowing about diseases and your body will help you make better choices. The kids listened, interested and attentive. They hadn't realized how fascinating and important health was before this special day. Now they felt empowered knowing how to care for their own health and support others in times of sickness. From that day on, the small town became known for its healthy and happy residents. And Dr. Amelia and her fellow health workers were always there, making sure everyone stayed that way. Certainly. Here's a short story tailored for middle school students, incorporating the requested medical terms.